Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again, where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and I just read an article this morning. Uh, it was published yesterday. Uh, today is August 23rd, 2017, and this was published on MovieWeb.com. And it says, Joker origin movie coming from Martin Scorsese. This, is, this was written by Ryan Scott, and let me just read the article to you guys. And then I'll tell you what I think. The DC Extended Universe just keeps on expanding. But it is hard to imagine that anyone saw this one coming. According to a new report, Warner Brothers is looking at doing a Joker movie that will explore the origin story of the iconic Batman villain. That part isn't so hard to believe. The crazy part is that Todd Phillips, the director of the Hangover trilogy, is set to helm the movie and co-write the script, while Martin Scorsese one of the greatest filmmakers of all time, is producing. Deadline brings us this rather unexpected news, and it doesn't get any less crazy. Scott Silver, the man behind 8 Mile, is said to be co-writing the script for this Joker movie with Todd Phillips right now. According to the report, this project will be happening under a new, unnamed production banner at Warner Brothers that can expand the canon of DC properties and create unique storylines with different actors playing the iconic characters. So it looks like we are going to get a whole lot more DC spinoffs in the future. Or at least Warner Brothers is going to develop them. This Joker origin story is said to be taking place during the 80s in Gotham City. The idea, per this report, is to have it feel like Martin Scorsese's movies from that era. With Taxi Driver, Raging Bull, and the King of Comedy named specifically. That would explain why the studio would want Scorsese involved, but it doesn't necessarily explain how they convinced him to work on a comic book movie, especially one that runs the risk of being quite controversial. The Joker doesn't have a definitive origin story, and it is certainly something that has never been fully explored on screen. So this movie could be wandering into delicate territory with the fan community. Deadline's report notes that this particular Joker origin won't be part of any other iteration. That being the case, it is said that Jared Leto, who most recently portrayed the DC Comics villain in Suicide Squad, won't be playing the character in this movie. Instead, they will be targeting a new, possibly younger actor. However, the report does mention that Leto is still slated to appear in, in Suicide Squad 2 and Gotham City Sirens, though that project seems to be less of a sure thing at this point. Currently, there is no word as to when this will fit into Warner Brothers' slate of DC movies, or how it will connect to the greater DCEU, if at all. Considering the iconic performances linked to the Joker on screen, with Jack Nicholson in Tim Burton's Batman, and Heath Ledger's character-defining performance in The Dark Knight, this may be a tough sell. Then again, the Joker is certainly a very popular character, and Warner Brothers does have Martin Scorsese on board, the creative team. At this point, there are more questions than answers, but good or bad, this is certainly a bit of unexpected news for DC fans. We will be sure to keep you up to date as more details on the Joker movie are made available. So, now for my thoughts. If they plan on doing an origin story back in the 80s, that would bring Batman, since in this current timeline, Batman is somewhat of a veteran in his war on crime. I think he said he'd been active for about 10 to 20 years already. Uh, so this could be made before Bruce Wayne became Batman. Which would also mean that since Joker is actually fairly young in Suicide Squad, that we could be dealing with a completely different different Joker altogether. There's a lot of rumors going about that Jason Todd is actually the Joker in the DCEU. Perhaps we'll be getting the original Joker and we'll see eventually in the through the Batman movies in flashback sequences or whatever how the Joker passed his mantle onto this new Joker. Jared Leto's Joker was by far the worst version of Joker ever to hit the screen. I didn't care for it. It is just, no. That's That has never been a portrayal of Joker. At all. He just seemed like some whack job. You know, he... The Joker is supposed to be a force of nature. It just didn't sit right with me. Harley Quinn was done perfectly. But the Joker was... 
just horrendous. And by doing a Joker movie, it could either be a huge success or a huge flop. And making it an origin story for the character, I'm not sure how that will go since we've never been given an actual origin for him in the comics. He's had multiple origins over the years. He was a comedian who ended up getting forced into taking on the role of the Red Hood and then falling in a vat of, vat of chemicals. He was an immortal. There's been three different Jokers, apparently. So on and so forth. So it, it could be interesting. I will say that, but I'm not going to hold my hopes up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm Shannon for Comic Gadden TV, where all geek culture collides. Take care, guys.